Okay, so the ranged ability is the third and final field ability, what you will find in the game. Obviously that goes along with ambushed and burrow. So the ranged ability is the most popular ability you will probably see amongst uh, units in all three sets and it's it's actually a really popular ability as well and it is actually probably I would say it's the most useful ability uh, going so units with range are basically units with a real-life ranged um, ability such as like an archer or a, a ballista or something like that something that's gonna shoot um, at range and gonna hit other units before they hit them such as swordsmen or monsters, something like that. Um, so the way it works in Wrath of Course is you will have your battle phase. You will declare attackers, you will declare blockers. Then if there are any ranged units on the field at all, enemy or friend or foe, then there will be an extra battle phase, a hidden battle phase which is unlocked solely for the units with that ranged ability. So declare attackers, declare blockers, then all the ranged units, that's both attackers and defenders, with the ranged ability get to roll a dice as and um, you know progress as normal, de declare their damage and then kill off any units. Um, followed by then the non-ranged damage. So then any of the units without ranged will roll for their dice. Um, and then do their, their hits and their damage and their special effects and something like that. Now the most important thing to remember is all units that enter battle are declared as, as what you say as in battle. So a ranged unit, if it hits, will still or can still deal damage to a unit that does not have ranged. Um, Obviously, if the defending player decides to not block with anyone, then the damage will go straight through to the enemy core, um, which is how you would initially win the game. It's a little bit like First Strike, in a way, if you play Magic the Gathering. So you kind of got to think carefully how you attack and you, and you defend, which players have got ranged, which players don't have ranged. Um, another thing to note as well is that ranged units also have a higher chance of missing. It's not very often you come across a unit which has a low uh, miss rate. Uh, usually it's always like a one in three chance. There are, there are, there are a couple of other units which um, have got increased odds, but it's really not many. Uh, and then you get some the really powerful units uh, like the trebuchets and stuff, which have got an even higher chance of missing, but their damage output, if it hits, is really, really high. You're talking 500 plus. Uh, as well as like the buffs, what you can put on units and stuff like that. So that is basically the ranged ability in a nutshell. It's super effective. Um, it's actually really fun. <laughs> it really increases the enjoyability of the game because it kind of throws more of a gamble effect when you go to declare attackers. If your opponent has declared ranged units, you kind of think to yourself, well, are those units going to hit? And, and then eventually then it turns into a massive brawl, a <laughs> big free-for-all. To, uh, you know, you don't know what units are going to hit, and that's the great thing about this game. So, yeah, guys, if you've got any questions about ranged whatsoever, just let me know, and, uh, and I will be sure to answer them in the comment section down below. But that is the ranged ability, and thanks very much for watching this video. I'll see you later.